hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back my name is moyo and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i made this beautiful cow top so if you're interested in knowing how i made it from beginning to the end please make sure to watch this video okay watch every bit of it i'm going to show you guys i'm going to be drafting the pattern first just to make it you know really easy for you guys to do so make sure you follow my steps and i'm going to get my cow top the way i did it exactly now when you guys make yours it's going to look something like this or maybe something like this so this is how to wear it you're just going to take this one and you know just dress it up like this and voila your cow top okay guys i'm excited to show you guys let's get into it the first thing i'm going to do is to take my exact back measurement on my paper my back measurement is 7.5 so i just max that like that next i'm going to be taking my armhole and my armhole is going to be my back measurement plus one inch for the shoulder slope so i'm taking 8.5 inches right now once i'm done with that i'm going to go straight into taking my vertical measurement and i'm going to be adding 0.5 to my actual measurement so my shoulder to bust point with my allowance is 10 inches then my shoulder to waist is 16 inches and my full length actually i want it to be 26 inches but my paper is not long enough my paper is about 25 inches so i'm just going to do that like that when i'm cutting on my material i'm going to add one inch to make it long enough i'm just going to go ahead and draw lines for those points that we made earlier so this is my waistline i'm just you know drawing this line to help me to outline what i have done earlier this is my bust line and next is my armhole line I'm going to confirm the 7.5 inches I told you guys was my back measurement and I'm going to come down to my armhole line to mark the same thing. Next, I'm going to grab my ruler and make a straight line. For my armhole, I'm going to use my French curve to draw this curve that you guys can see. But I'm not going to need it at the end of the day, but I'm just drawing it. Just, you know, follow me along. Then I'm going to come to my neckline and mark 3 inches like this. Then on my armhole line i'm going to take one inch down then i'm going to connect this to the three inches that we took earlier this is for the shoulder slope because our shoulder is not straight i'm also going to come over here and label my bust line my waistline and the entire length of my top we are going straight into transferring our body measurements to our paper to our pattern so now my bust i'm using 36 for my bust which is 30 divided by 4 is 9, so I'm going to add 2 inches to that. I'm going to get 11 for my bust. So I already marked that before on my paper. Then on my waistline, because I really want it to be free, I'm just going to subtract 1 from the 11 inches I have already on my bust line. And I'm going to come to, you know, the length of my top on that there, and I'm going to mark 10 inches, which is the hip measurement I'll be using. Then I'm also going to add 2 inches for the ease. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to use my ruler to connect my points. You guys, it is really simple. Just connect your points and you now have your back pattern. I'm going to come over to the hemline of my top like you guys can see. And I'm going to mark 1.5 inch up like this. Then I'm going to just connect it to anywhere on the hemline just for you to have a little bit of structure i don't want to be straight if you're making a cow top that has sleeves you can go ahead and use this pattern but because mine is going to have you know sleeves attached so i'm just going to add about six inches like so then i'm going to come down by 1.5 instead of one that we came down by the other time then i'm going to use my ruler to just connect it to any part of my you know neckline because i'm doing like a kimono top that is why it's like this but if you are doing like a sleeveless top or a top that has sleeves attached to it then you can use this like i said earlier then i'm going to come down and the length of my you know armhole is going to be about eight inches remember that i'm going to still stitch it on top and at my armpit area so that is why i'm using eight inches so once i mark this i'm going to go over to the one that i have earlier and I'm going to confirm the measurement I have there. Then I'm going to come over to my bust line, you know, just to make sure that I, what I have is equal. I'm going to make a mark on there as well. Once I've done that, I'm just going to connect the lines. Okay, just look at how I'm connecting the lines 
first a straight line and then a slant line just to connect my new um hole i don't know if that makes sense but yes this is the new pattern that we have now so, so i'm just cutting the markings that we already made i'm just cutting like this then i'm going to go straight into cutting my back my back is going to be three inches wide and i'm going to come down by about two inches from that two inches i'm also going to go in by three inches again using my ruler i'm going to connect these three points that we have like a rectangle shape actually and i'm going to connect this once i'm done i'm going to still use my french curve to make a mark again and when i open it up i'm going to have like a round back that is what we are going for guys this is the fabric that i'm going to be using for this project i grabbed my pattern that i already made and as you can see i had to fold in the sleeve because it was too big if i had used it like this then one yard would have been too small for me so i just had to fold in a little bit for it to accommodate what i'm doing so if you are doing your own please bear this in mind that if your sleeve is that long then one yard will not be enough for you maybe you have to get like one and a half yards or something so next guys i'm just going to go ahead into cutting my back part back piece whatever so i'm just following this i'm just going to be cutting the exact thing that we have on here this is the most important part of this video we're cutting the front now the cow part of our top so as you guys can see i literally slanted my cow top that is all that is all that was going to give it that you know that drapey effect so when i did this i'm going to mark 10 inches from my neckline like you can see just mark 10 inches you can mark 11 but 10 inches is okay that 10 inches can be a bit deep at times so don't mark anything that is more than 10 inches so guys i'm just going to go ahead and grab my chalk just to make this kind of line that i'm making first because i'm still going to dip in the line anyway but i'm just making this line first and i'm going to cut it out so you guys when you're cutting it make sure that the bottom of your paper meets the you know this folded edge of your material i fold the material into two in case you are wondering and i'm going to cut like this first okay i'm going to cut around my pattern paper just trace out the pattern on your fabric if you followed all my steps you should have something like this i'm just going to set this aside and i'm going to come over to the neck line like this i'm going to mark two inches then i'm going to connect it to the top of my shoulder top of the shoulder of my cow top once i connect it like this i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and guys we are done cutting i'm going to go ahead and place the back of my cow top here like this then i'm going to lay the front on it like this then what we're doing basically is that we're going to match the you know shoulder like this just ensure that the shoulders match properly like this and you also match the sides well you guys i'm done sewing and these are the areas that i went ahead to stitch okay that's all then i'm just going to go ahead and slash those areas open a little bit i'm just slashing my side seams open a little bit just to make it open up easily when i you know turn it over to the other side i'm going to do the same for the other side as well to finish up my rough edges i'm just going to be using this white bias i'm just placing it on my entire you know all those areas that are really open i'm just going to place the bias on them like that then i'm going to sew if you need a detailed tutorial on how to turn your neck with bias then please let me know i'm going to do that for you but yes guys this is my finished work this is what it looks like thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end i love it so much please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video recommend it to your friends let me know what kind of videos you like to see on my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one mm. bye guys <laughs>